Hey everyone, this is Fabri Alwan, and welcome back. Today I decided to make a special video in order to celebrate my latest acquisition and show you guys my video game soundtrack collection. Since this is something I wanted to do in a long, long time, since basically I started to play video games, I always wanted uh, to listen to video game music, since I always, always loved them. To me, music in video game is one of the most important part of the entire experience, since I obviously, obviously always love music so much. And I remember since the glorious days of the NES and 8-bit era, um, when I started actually playing video games, my first game was Mega Man 2, with its mind-blowing music. Couldn't believe how good that soundtrack was. And other games just popped into my mind just now, like DuckTales, always by Capcom. And surprisingly good game with an amazing soundtrack. Uh, the Zelda games, of course, Mario, and so many others. I mean, the NES is, and the 8-bit era, it's a great place for all amazing soundtracks. But the same we can say for going to next generation with the 16-bit music and the Super Nintendo or the Genesis. Amazing, some of the greatest soundtracks are from this period and so on. We can go from the 32-bit, 64, PlayStation 2, Sex Saturn, all and until this day. I mean, video game music is just keeping evolving, like video games, of course, coming better and better, always more realistic, more symphonic, and everything. But it always been very important to me, that's the point. And that's the reason why I always, always wanted to collect video game soundtracks. But back then it was very difficult, since obviously, you can you couldn't find video game soundtrack in Italy, obviously. I mean, it was difficult. I think elsewhere back then in the like early nineties, but in Italy it was just impossible. It's still difficult today. I, it's not easy to find these CDs in stores, and that's the reason why most of the time I had to buy them online. But back then I tried. I think like everybody else did, so trying to record the music with this, connected it with the stereo, the stereo with the NES or the Super Nintendo or something like that with a, a music cassette but obviously it was total shit so I was very disappointed and for a long long time I couldn't I didn't have any video game soundtrack of course then I started to, when I started to use YouTube many years ago now I was able to listen to more soundtracks and finally now thanks to um, Amazon, eBay, and buying stuff online, I'm actually able to start and uh, increase my collection. So, for now, do not expect a huge collection. I just started like in a year or something, so it's nothing spectacular, but I'm pretty happy with it still. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So, for now, here we go. My first CD, actually, this, this is the first that I bought, and it's always like a peculiar case. And I want to show you this the first one, and it's Zelda, the 25th Anniversary Symphony. And you can find this actually in the special edition of Skyward Sword. This is where I bought it. And this is the first <coughs> video game soundtrack that I actually bought. And it all started from here, or it should be with Zelda. And by the way, this is very good. If you, you definitely have to buy this, listen to this, because it's great Zelda symphonic music, it's amazing listen to the, uh, like the Wind Waker or the Twilight Princess melodies in a symphonic way, or the Zelda theme, um, there are so many great music in this CD, I very recommend this, and it's, I love the fact that this is actually my first soundtrack, and I remember that when I bought Skyward Sword, I saw there was the special edition that it was just a little more expensive, but nothing too much, I think, and included the um, the, the soundtrack of like for the 25th anniversary of the, of the Zelda franchise, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna buy the CD, and I was so excited because it was my first soundtrack, something that I always wanted to do, and after that I was thinking, I remember guy like, getting into my car, coming back home. Um, 
I was like, let's listen to this in the in my car, obviously, like with the volume cranked up so loud, you can hear for like a 20 miles away, I suppose. And I was thinking like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start buying these soundtracks. I waited enough. So it all started with this. Zelda, 25th Anniversary Symphony. Highly recommended, by the way. Next, we got my first Dragon Quest soundtrack. And it's Dragon Quest VI. And why VI? It's quite peculiar, all the Dragon Quest and the Dragon Quest music. Well... It's pretty simple, Sim and it's because when I bought this, I was playing Dragon Quest VI, and in a previous video that I was making, that I made, uh, I was saying I said that I didn't enjoy Dragon Quest VI as much as four and five on the DS, and I actually say that I was wrong. Dragon Quest VI is a great game, especially because at the time I was stuck in a specific place, then I managed to go on with the game and enjoy it, and now I just have to defeat the final boss. So I absolutely love this game, and while I was playing and listening to the music, I say, well, I want the soundtrack of Dragon Quest VI. In time, I'll buy more Dragon Quest soundtrack game. Like, I, I want Dragon Quest V, the music, since it's my favorite of the series. Uh, I would like to listen to the, the previous ones. Like, I love Dragon Quest III so much. It's like one of my favorite. Um, 8-bit RPG of all time, so I really want the music. You have to say that Dragon Quest music is pretty similar, and that's a good thing, I think. Like, Dragon Quest has many things that are repeated towards the various games, like music, sound effects, um, and other stuff, graphics, and... It's a good thing. It's very fam It's a very familiar franchise, like, especially com compared with other RPG, like Final Fantasy, which each game is a totally different thing from the other. So, this could be probably the same music of other games. I don't know, I have to listen to them yet. I mean, it looked very, very nice. This is very good. It's very symphonic again. I suppose, since it's all in Japanese, I cannot read it, obviously, but I think it's like an orchestrated version of Dragon Quest music, and it's very good. I mean, Play the game, definitely, but listen to the music. Dragon Quest VI, very, very good. Love it. Next, it's... An <laughs> I absolutely love this game, and I always wanted the soundtrack in order to expand like my stuff about this game, and I'm talking about the soundtrack of Dino Crisis. I hope there is no like, weird reflections on it, since it's very dark. Put it like this. And... Well, there's not much to say about this. This is a survival horror soundtrack, so it's not very, like, music or melodic or symphonic. I mean, it's just, like, very atmospheric. It is very good, obviously. I'm not saying that it's not. It's just a little weird. I mean, listen to this in the, while you are at the gym or studying in the library. It could be very weird. At the library, particularly, it's very cool Listen to this music. It's a good soundtrack for a survival horror game, I suppose. Actually, I think. And I highly recommend this if you are interested in this kind of music. Like, I bought this before, like any Resident Evil soundtrack, simply because it was way cheaper. And I always wanted more Dino Crisis stuff since it's one of my favorite um, survival horror game ever, and one of my favorite PlayStation One survival horror games. There's obviously another siren. It's very annoying. So. I recommend this if you are a Dino Crisis fan or if you really are if you are curious about survival horror music, but it is good. Again, don't get me wrong, it's very atmospheric because Dino Crisis is as one of the strongest points of the game, it's it's atmosphere, I think. Mm. I love this game so much, by the way, it's great, great stuff. Then I got some Final Fantasy game, it's a soundtrack that it's almost half of my collection so far. So let's start with the piano collection for Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX it's by far my favorite PlayStation Final Fantasy game and I was surprised how good it is. When I first played it I was very um, uncertain about it because Final Fantasy VII to me was not a great experience. Eight was even weirder 
if, it's, if you saw my previous video about games that I haven't finished yet, there is Final Fantasy VIII, simply because sometimes I hate that game, sometimes I kind of like it, but it's never like, oh, this game is so awesome. It never happened. To me, Final Fantasy VIII is a very weird game and very weird experience. Then Final Fantasy IX came out, and I was, like, not sure to buy it. I mean, I've always loved Final Fantasy, so I, I, I have to buy it. It's Final Fantasy IX. Then I decided to buy it, and I was amazed as to how good that game is. I mean, it's. I think it's a love letter to older gamers like myself, so to the fans of the Super Nintendo games. I, I found a lot of elements of Final Fantasy 2 and 3, 4 and 6 in 9. To me, it's a very... It's a strong combination of these two games into 9. And the soundtrack of the game is very good. The Piano Collection is a very interesting um, addition to the soundtracks and all different musics made by piano of course there is some really good one by the way it's a very interesting and very good addition to the Final Fantasy IX soundtrack that it's by the way my next one this is the official original soundtrack it's actually the plus version so I suppose there is something more than normal one and it's very good of course as I was told in for the um, piano collection this is the, actually the normal soundtrack and it's very very good. It's not a surprise, Final Fantasy always have amazing music and especially the classic ones, I really love it. I mean, you cannot go wrong with Final Fantasy with the music, it's so good. The music of Nobuo Uematsu are so good and so classic, so nostalgic to me and I have to play Final Fantasy IX a little more since I don't have my PlayStation here. I haven't finished it yet, and play, listen to this music every time I can. And it's so great and makes me think about the good timing of the PlayStation era, while I was waiting for the new Final Fantasy game. With so anxious about it and wasn't sure if it was good. It's not good, and it was great as the soundtrack. Highly recommended for all Final Fantasy fans. This is great. And next is more classic, let's say, and it's the soundtrack of Final Fantasy V. Never released in in the West, only in Japan until the Game Boy Advance uh, remake. Final Fantasy V, when I decided to play it, was a great surprise. I mean. The main prob let's call it problem, even though it's not a problem. And the main problem of this game is the fact that it's squeezed between two of the best RPG of all time, Final Fantasy IV and VI. So it's difficult to live up to the expectations, especially after IV, that was, at the time, I think, the best Final Fantasy ever made. So I think V is, first of all, less known that um, 4 and 6, simply because it wasn't released in the West until the Game Boy Advance remake, as, as I told. And also because it, the other two are so good that it's almost normal to have a little inferior one. But this is not the case, actually. I enjoy Final Fantasy V very, very much. I think it's a great game. It's not as good as 6, because 6 is by far, like, best game of the entire franchise, one of the best game of all time. 4, I love it, obviously. But, it's easier to compare, uh, to make 5 compete with 4, I think. For, like, the story, it's very good, a very interesting Final Fantasy 5, it's more classic, I think. Like, there are crystals and everything, so it's more old school, I think. The music, it is very good. I actually prefer the music of Final Fantasy V that Final Fantasy IV. So it is a great soundtrack of a very great but unfortunately underrated game. I'm always out for a remake like for uh, that could actually make this game a little like it would be nice to that more people actually play this game. You know, remake on the PS Vita would be interesting or. 
on consoles, why not? I mean, it was reason a Super Famicom, so why not making a cool remake on the Wii U like they did for Wind Waker after all? I mean, it's different, it's Zelda, but it would be interesting. Uh, I'm just dreaming now, but this soundtrack, highly, highly recommended. Also the game, obviously, but we're talking about soundtracks here. Really, I cannot um, recommend this soundtrack enough. I mean, it's very, very good. To me, it's one of the best Final Fantasy soundtrack you can find one for a great, great game. Play the game, but listen to the music, definitely. And of course, let's conclude the Final Fantasy section with one of the greatest soundtrack of all time and a must-have if you want uh, to start a soundtrack collection. You all know what I'm talking about. It doesn't need any presentation. This is one of the best soundtrack of all time for Final Fantasy VI. I always say three for habit since I played the Super Nintendo version, so it's weird saying actually it's real title. This, as I told you, it's one of the best video game soundtrack ever made. It's the best Final Fantasy music ever made. And it's you can talk about this game for hours, the music for hours, but I don't have enough time to go in depth into this music, but it's so great. It is actually one of the first soundtracks that I bought because I wanted this so bad since I love the game so much and it's amazing music. I remember trying to record all the music from the game uh, back then with my Super Nintendo. Obviously, I never actually succeeded, so when I saw this, it was quite expensive. That's the problem. I spent a lot of money for this, for a soundtrack, but it was totally worth it. I mean, I love this one so much. I listen to this every day, every occasion. I don't care if I am at home, at work, at the library, uh, at the gym. I just don't care. I love listening to this. There are some of the best musics in the entire Final Fantasy franchise. It's just so good. I mean, I cannot recommend it. Again, I cannot recommend this enough. Everyone who wants like start a collection of soundtracks must have this one. It is one of the greatest of all time. Really guys, listen to this, buy this, it's amazing. Let's move on to other games. This is again really, really good and it's the center of the game that basically uh, made me buy the Xbox. Panzer Dragoon Orta and the music of this game is so good. The game is amazing, very hard, by the way. I managed to finish it different times. I'm very proud of that. It's one of the hardest games I ever played, and definitely probably the hardest on the Xbox, together with Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden? Gaiden, I suppose. Um, the music is amazing. This is one of my favorite soundtrack, actually, that I have here. I mean, I love all of them, but this is part very, very good. And it's amazing that uh, for um, the, uh, the US version, uh, they added actually three more uh, themes. One from the original Panzer Dragoon, one for Panzer Dragoon's Vi, and one from Panzer Dragoon's Saga, which is probably the best theme <coughs> of this soundtrack, but it's all very good. And Panzer Dragoon Orta is actually one of my favorite games on the Xbox. And to think now, it's probably one of the games that made me buy the Xbox back then. So, absolutely, this is, again, a must-have. All Panzer Dragoon music is great, but this, it's very, very good. Seriously. Excellent soundtrack for an excellent game. One of the best games the, the Xbox has to offer. This is, again, highly recommended. Let's move on to a PlayStation game, and a game that I absolutely love with a great soundtrack. It's a little special and again another game that I cannot recommend enough, both the game and the soundtrack, but it's a great classic. It's Wild Arms. How can you go wrong with our Wild Arms? I mean the thing with this game, the music is so good because of its western of course, with its western theme theme. And oh, there's this. And it's an amazing game, a first generation PlayStation RPG with and a great, great soundtrack. It is awesome Western theme. I love this. I listen to this so much again. And it's one of the latest ones that I bought, actually. It was expensive. 
um, managed to find this quite at a reasonable price recently. Again, um, I want to buy more Wild Arms uh, soundtracks since they're really, really good. And But this is a must-have, I think. I mean, if you like Wild Arms in general, or PlayStation music, this is for you. It's amazing. And it is very, very good. I listen to this so much. I really cannot get tired of this. Great, great soundtrack again. We'll move on to another favorite of mine, both the franchise and the music, and I'm talking about Ease, of course. This is for now my only Ease soundtrack, and it's the soundtrack of Ease 4, Dawn of Ease. A personal favorite of mine, actually. Um, saying, like, the favorite game in the Ease franchise to me is quite difficult, I've more than one, but let's talk about this. Ease it's very famous for its amazing music. It's one of the best um, soundtrack in a franchise in general. I mean, it's very, very good. The, the music in every game is amazing. From the first, from book one, to up until today, to Origin, and the, the new game on the Vita, the Cell Seta game. I always forgot how the game is called. But I decided to start with Ease 4 since I think it's a, a little more obscure game. I mean, also it wasn't easy to buy this. It's not that easy because, like on Amazon, you cannot find the CDs. I really don't know why. They're just the MP3 files, and I want the CD, of course. And like I absolutely want, for example, Open File Ghana, Book One and Two. I mean, all the the soundtrack of the Ease games are amazing, so I want more. But I decided to start with this. And as I told you, Ease 4 is a personal favorite of mine when I managed uh, to play this. And I absolutely love the game and absolutely love the soundtrack. It's very nostalgic, of course. And I needed, I mean, for the first part of my collection to have an Ease soundtrack. I mean, must. Next, we have a personal favorite of mine both the game and the soundtrack. It's Grandia, of course. I mean, Grandia is one of my favorite games of all time, and one of the reasons for that is because of the music. The music of Grandia is brilliant, to say the least. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I love the soundtrack. I listen to this so much. It's probably the soundtrack I listen to the most. I even let, like, let my my father listened to this, even though he's not into video games, but I was talking about this so much, and he got curious, me. well, show it to me, I mean, <laughs> I'm curious about it, and they say, oh, well, this is actually pretty good to be an icon video game music, and I was like very, yeah, isn't this so good, it's amazing, I was so excited to talk about this, and I absolutely love everything about this, from the cover with Justin and Fina, to everything. Uh, it was very hard to find this, by the way. It was always, like, uh, not available. But then the first day, when it became available again, I just bought it, even though it was quite expensive, but I didn't care. I wanted this so badly, since I love the game so much. So, so much. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And I always loved the music. It was so nostalgic, made me think about my PlayStation days, and about this game that I love so much for like the characters, the situation in the game are so familiar every time you listen to the music and say, oh, I remember that part of the game. Like, oh, this is the music that something happened to this. And it's so great, so nostalgic. It's definitely one of the best soundtrack I ever heard. I cannot recommend it enough. I mean, together with Final Fantasy VI, this is probably my favorite soundtrack among all the uh, ones they have, and but also probably in general, this is a must-have for soundtrack lovers. The music of Grandia is unbelievably good. Trust me when I say this. It is amazing, brilliant, gorgeous, awesome. I cannot say uh, enough good things about this. So that's about it. The last thing is open actually the last one that I bought and it arrives yesterday in the mail as you can see 
Uh, I actually know what it is. So I just want to show it to you guys. Or celebrate its arrival. Ah, oh, so gorgeous, both the condition and everything. This is. I'm so glad to have this. The soundtrack of Parasite Eve 1 and 2. And I was surprised how cheap it was when I bought it. I mean, it was more than £20, it was not cheap at all. But for something like this, you can see it's in gorgeous condition. It's perfect, not a scratch, everything. Look how cool this is. I love Parasite Eve so much. Both the, the first two games, I actually never played third birthday, but I heard so many bad things about that game. just want to open this live so you can show it to you a little bit without all seeing. Oh god, this is so good. This is so good. There's so many great things. It's just a just look at cool this is. I mean, how cool Ayabrea is. Wow, this is so awesome. Just look at the cover of the first one. <laughs> I love this. I love the game so much, by the way. Parasite Eve 1, it's one of the most amazing games on the PlayStation. So I got CDs, of course. Gorgeous conditions. Let's see the art behind them. Oh, wow, this is amazing. This is so cool. Just look at this. Look at this. How cool is this? So, so happy to have this. This two almost finished. See, Parasite Eve two. I love the second game. It's been being very criticized to be kind of a Resident Evil. Oh, this is funny. Uh, kind of a Resident Evil wannabe, but with RPG elements. So, I love the second game. It's so good. See, ooh, this is nice. This is I'm so excited about this. Let's look, obviously the CDs, great condition. Let's see the art. This is very nice. Oh, I love the Final Fantasy tribute. That is so cool. Look at this gorgeous art. Look at this. There is the the cactus. Oh, this way. The cactus from uh, Final Fantasy. Well, I'm not touching Aya's boobs. The cactus from um, Final Fantasy VIII. There you go. I can do this. I'm just so excited at this also. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, this is so good. This four. I'm very excited about this since I love Parasite Eve so much. And I always wanted to uh, just show you again separately this amazing art. Parasite Eve 1 and 2. 1 and 2, actually. So great. Uh, I love this so much. Always, it's everything. I'm surprised how good this con the conditions of this is. I mean, with booklet, with, again, gorgeous art, not many information, but that's brilliant. With all this orgasmic experience with Parasite Eve, let's just conclude the video. I, I hope you enjoyed, guys, of course, and leave comments, video response, everything you like to talk about video game soundtracks to. Show me if you had your collection, any suggestions for new soundtracks, since I'm very, very interested to add new games, like I uh, want at least more uh, Castlevania, more Dragon Quest, more Final Fantasy. There's so many amazing soundtracks out there, and sometimes they're hard to get simply because of the price, but sooner or later I'm going to get more. I mean, the thing that's missing here that I really, really want is more Grandia, and of course Fantasy Star, since it's my favorite franchise of all time. And the only thing, I found a great collection of Fantasy Star 1 to 4, but it's very expensive. So I don't know when I'm able to get that CD, but it's going to happen sooner or later. So wait for more news about my CD soundtracks uh, collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, sorry for the fin and for the ending it was quite long, but I was so excited about my Parasite Eve soundtrack. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.